Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, I am now going to be going over this paper, which is the paper which was supposed to be set in June 2020. As you can see on the front of the paper, this is a P4 International A Level, um, Edexcel International A Level paper. Um, this was the first ever paper, um, apart from the specimen and sample assessment papers, first real paper that was set. Um, it was set for June 2020, but the exams were cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And it was set now in, no in October of 2020. And I'm going to be going over this paper in this... Well, I'll be doing question one in this video. And um, the playlist for the rest of the questions in this video, you can find if you go to the description, you can click on the playlist um, button or at the end of the video, the end of this video, there will be a um, playlist appearing over here. You can click on it. It will take you to the playlist for this video. And if you need an, a copy of this paper, um, you can find it in the description of the playlist. There will be a link that takes you to a PDF copy of this paper you could print out. Okay, so now for question number one, we have something which is new to P4 in the new syllabus, which is proof by contradiction. And in this question here, it says, given that n is an integer, use algebra to prove by contradiction that if n cubed is even, then n is even. Okay, so what we have to do when we're proving by contradiction is we have to kind of assume the opposite. So we can say, let's assume, let's assume that if n cubed, okay, is even, where n is an integer, that's what this, this, was, this means, okay, then n is odd. Okay, so we assume the opposite of the statement. Okay, so if n cubed is even, it can be expressed, can be expressed, I'm trying to be not too messy with my writing, in the form, now any even number is a multiple of two. So it can be expressed in the form, let's say, um, two times p, where p is an integer. p is an integer, z means integer. Okay, so basically, we can say n cubed is equal to 2 times some integer. It's an even number, okay? Multiple of 2. And if n is odd, as we've assumed, okay, then it can be expressed. It can be expressed in the form of, in the form, let's say, um, 2 q plus 1, where q is an integer. Okay, that's because an odd number is uh, a multiple of 2, which is an even number, plus 1. One more than an even number, or one less than an even number. I could even put 2q minus 1 if I wanted to, and it would be fine. Okay, now, so we've basically assumed the opposite of what they said. If n cubed is even, then n is even. We've said if n cubed is even, then n is odd. So we assume the opposite of this. And we know that if n cubed is even, it can be expressed in the form of 2 times something, multiple of 2. And if n is odd, it can be expressed in the form of 2 times an integer plus 1. So this, these must be integers, of course. So 2 times an integer plus 1, one more than an even number, which is odd. Okay, so now if we take n equals 2q plus 1, and we say, let's cube it. So n cubed is going to be 2q plus 1 cubed. Now, that's going to give us... Now, we can expand this in different ways. We could use um, um, binomial expansion, but there's no need to. It's just very small. So we can just say, let's multiply 2q plus 1 times 2q plus 1 squared, which is going to be 4q squared plus 4q plus 1. So if I expand that, I'm going to get 8q, 8q cubed. I'll have two q. I'll have two q times four q, which is um, eight q. Eight q squared plus four q squared will give me plus twelve q squared. I'm just simplifying it in my head. 
and then I'll have for my Q terms, I'll have 2Q times 1, which is 2Q, plus 4Q, which is plus 6Q, and then I'm going to have 1 times 1, which is 1. So that's the expansion of this. And, and I can see that this, I can say n cubed is equal to that. So n cubed is equal to, now if I take out 2 as a common factor from these first three terms, which I can because they're all even terms, I can have 2 times 4q cubed plus 6q squared plus 3q, and then I'm going to have a plus 1. Now, this shows that n cubed is odd because this is an integer and you have 2 times an integer plus 1 okay so here we have a contradiction because we said n cubed is even okay so uh, n cubed is odd but we can say here we assumed we assumed that n cubed is even and when n is odd we found n cubed is odd therefore it's a contradiction okay it's a contradiction when n cubed is even n isn't odd okay if because if n cubed is even and we assume n is odd n cubed becomes uh, odd all right so therefore we have a contradiction so basically what this contradiction proved by contradiction the way it works is you just assume the opposite of the statement and we show somehow by doing that you know we, we find that there is some contradiction that occurs by doing that so we found there's a contradiction that occurs by assuming that n is odd instead of being even that when we cube this odd number it ends up giving us an odd number and we've assumed that it's going to give us an even number which contradicts our original statement okay it came out as odd it's supposed to be even it's a contradiction therefore we conclude you have to always write your conclusion so we can conclude that if n cubed is even then n is also even okay and n is an integer okay n is an integer so n cubed is even then n is even so you basically rewrite the statement conclude it conclude with the statement that they gave you in the beginning that you had to prove by contradiction so you assume the opposite of it and then when you uh, use that fact that the, the, when you use the fact it's opposite you'll find that in your calculation you'll see that it, it shows something which is a contradiction which proves that the original statement is actually true okay so that's how you deal with proof by contradiction there's not many questions in the past papers of course because this is new on this topic you'll find a question in the sample assessment paper you'll find a small part in the specimen paper not a question on its own just a small part of a question there um, if you want to see those papers you can go to the p4 material if you follow the description in below the video click on the link for the internet for the uh, as and a2 material you'll find uh, um, an index of p4 there and you can go to those papers um, other questions on proofs you'll find in the textbook and um, proof by contradiction you can have a look up you'll see videos on um, YouTube as well if you just type that in to get some more practice um, anyway so this is concluding question number one um, question number two will be on another video if you want to watch other questions from here as I mentioned you can go to the playlist which is in the description below um, you can also wait until the end of the video you'll see a playlist appearing over here you can click on it that will take you to other questions in this paper and then there's a playlist um, below it which will take you to other questions that are about proof by contradiction from P4. There will be a icon here for you to subscribe if you wish to subscribe and you haven't done so so far. And on the top of the screen, you'll find a card taking you to another P4 paper. Thank you for watching and see you soon.